Welcome back everybody to a new Unity tutorial where we continue exploring platforming mechanics, this time crumbling platforms. So grab a pack of your favourite biscuits, let's crack on. Exactly like we did with the fawning platform, we start with our platform sprite, complete with a box collider 2D, a platform effector 2D with the use by effector box checked, we won't be using a rigid body, but we do have an animator because I have three animations for my platform, a break animation, an idle and a respawn. The break and respawn animations we only want to play once, so loot time is unchecked. Each animation is only one second long and they're really simple just to show the platform crumbling, just like so. How this is going to work is simple. When the player makes contact with the surface of the platform. The crumble break animation plays. After that's finished, we will deactivate the sprite renderer and the box collider. Respawn animation will play after three, five seconds. Then we'll set the collider and the renderer back as true. So let's create a crumbling platform script, attach it to the platform and open it up. For the variables, we're only focused on the three components we want to control. I have them all as public, and they are a Collider 2D, the Sprite Renderer, and the Animator. Just like the Fawning Platform, we want two separate floats for two different time intervals. The first, the Animation Time, which will equal the length of our Crumble animation. After that's done, we will set false the Collider and the Renderer, then the Respawn Time will play, and after the respawn time is up, set the renderer and the collider as true after the respawn animation has played. Let's remove void start and void update and replace it with a private void on collision into 2 d just like we did with the falling platform, collision 2D other. If that other game object's tag is player, then start coroutine crumble. Before we go ahead and create our coroutine, our enumerator, let's first create a private void called components. And in the brackets, we want a bool, which we will call state, to control whether they are true or false. And inside, we'll make a reference to the sprite renderer dot enabled equals state. Same again for the platform collider dot enabled is equal to state. With that, we can now go ahead and create our coroutine, our I enumerator crumble. When the player makes contact with the platform, we want the crumble break animation to play. So we'll call upon our animator.play inside the brackets, the string, the name of the animation. It must be spelt exactly as you named it. Then the animation time will play of one second equal to the duration of my animation. Then we'll turn off the components by stating components and in the brackets false, which will equal that bool state, deactivating the sprite renderer and collider. Then our respawn time will play. After that happens, same again, we want the animator.play to play our crumble respawn. Again, make sure it is exactly as you named it. Then our components will be re-enabled and set to true. So hit save, let's head back into Unity. Let's set up the crumbling platform in the inspector by dragging and dropping the necessary components, platform collider, sprite renderer, and the animator. Animation time, well, my animation is one second, so that'll be one, and respawn time, let's go with three. Then hit play and test it out. Now, when we make contact, there we go, the crumble animation plays, and oh, we just made it in time, and they respawn, ready for another try. Let's go across again. There we go, oh, that was close. Excellent. Thank you all very much for watching, guys. I'm glad so many of you are enjoying learning game dev, and I hope our tutorials have helped you along the way. If you have any suggestions, please let us know on any of our socials. Until then, We'll see you guys soon. Take care.